Hey guys, welcome back to the humble beginnings of our castle kingdom. Last episode, you might remember, I built this pretty cool, pretty snazzy house that you see right behind me. I had a lot of fun making that, and I can't wait to expand it, decorate it, and use even more cool blocks to make the extra buildings that we're going to have inside our kingdom. We don't have a kingdom wall yet. I'm not sure if I want to wait for stone bricks, or if I just want to set down a cobblestone wall, but the truth is, I'm going to need like 20 inventories full of cobblestone before I even start that wall. This episode, what I think we're going to do is we're going to work down the research queue in Advanced Warfare. What I really want to do is get towards windmills. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it this episode, but I definitely want to make a start. Because if we can get to windmills, we can make our first windmill that's the perfect power generation for the mod pack. Also, along the same chain of research are water wheels, which are another great way to generate power within Ancient Warfare. So, jump in with me and let's go explore some research. Right, okay, so welcome back to our Castle Kingdom. Now I'm just going to fill in a few of these gaps. This episode we're going to be looking down the research queue. We're going to check out the research station in a sec and look at what we need to know for the next step in crafting our Castle Kingdom. Now like I said, I want to make some windmills. So if we right click on this, here we go. Now the first thing in our queue, now this is this is like kind of like a quest book. It gives us something that we need to do each time we come back to this research station. So the first thing we need to do is get some sticks, some string, some charcoal, and some torches. Now the best way to make charcoal is of course to cook some wood. So we're gonna put some wooden planks in there. No, they don't cook. It's gotta be logs, of course. Right, well we're gonna need some logs. Oh man, but it sounds like a storm's coming. So I better be careful. Where is the sun? It's high in the sky, so we've got about half of the day left. So before anything happens, I'm going to go get myself some logs to put inside the furnace and make some charcoal. Now also we're going to need some string. The best way to get string, of course, is by breaking grass seeds to make to get cotton seeds. You can kill spiders for string, and that probably is the best way, but I don't know where there's a good source of spiders, a good reliable source of spiders. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a sickle, which will let us um, break grass and gather up seeds. Now, oh, already we've got one set of cotton seeds. What we really need is a whole bunch of these so we can make a watering can and make ourselves a mini cotton farm so that we can get as much string and hopefully wool as our hearts desire. So let's go and see if we can find some cotton seeds with this sickle. Right, so you just bash the grass like this and a sickle will bash loads of grass around it. Unfortunately, we're not getting many seeds though. There's some seeds. Now, of course, I think those were flax seeds and, oh no, they're barley seeds. Of course not. Now, since we're looking for string, if we found flax, well, you know why we'd be in luck, I think. Because flax is string. Right, oh, more seeds. Now, we're getting a whole bunch of cool seeds here. Now, I'm wondering if it's if it's more likely for us to get seeds if we punch. Probably not, but it's much slower. What seeds have we got so far? Just one cotton? We want a whole bunch of cotton before we move forwards, though. Oh yeah, there's another set of cotton seeds. Now luckily cotton seeds are quite common. There's a whole bunch of different types of seeds, but cotton seeds, it seems, are quite high on the seed drop priority list. There's some more wheat seeds. Now all of these seeds that we don't use to make the cotton are going to come in handy later on because we can make our very own farms with them. Oh yeah, now what's that? Oh, that is snowbell seeds. Now already I've wasted one sickle, wow. I think I might actually end up needing about four of them. Now, what else did we need? We needed some logs. I don't want to waste... Oh, that's a beautiful Sakura tree. Oh, look at that. Fant I almost want to chop this down and plant loads more around. But I'm going to save this beautiful example of a tree. It's not quite mahogany, but oh my god, look at that pink. Oh, yeah. That's the business. Now, all we need are just a few more cotton seeds. Now, like I said, these are a really common drop. And I'm not wrong here. We've got more cotton seeds than anything else. So let's just waste up all the durability on this final sickle. And, oh yeah, no more, no more, uh, no more cotton seeds, but that's okay, because we can just be make a beeline back for the house now. Bashing any grass that we encounter on the way. Oh, but it's getting, it's getting late, so we definitely want to sleep. Now, we've got enough wood to make our bed, so as soon as we get back to the house, you guys have got to remind me, and I want you to scream at the screen when I do get back to bed, get back to the house. I want you to remind me to build a bed, because otherwise I'll forget and we'll forget to set our spawn, and that means if we die, then like I'm going back to the druid's base, and uh, I don't want to go there when Lewis isn't around. Right, okay, so four cotton seeds are going to have to do. Let's just get the remaining iron out of the furnace. 
Now, first up, you guys are screaming at me and I can hear you out there. Okay, so first we need to turn one of these into some planks. Put this in here, spread it along there, put some wool above it. And okay, there you go, guys, I heard you. And let's put down our bed now. I want this upstairs, I want our bedroom to be upstairs. Because no one likes to sleep on the ground floor. Although, I actually sleep on the ground floor at the moment. My flat is located on the ground floor. Uh, spoilers, I'm not telling you where it is. But um, it's kind of cool. It means you don't have to go upstairs or take a lift. And uh, if you ever get like a pizza delivery, you can go downstairs really quick. Well, you don't have any stairs. You can go down and get it without going downstairs. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. oh, did you guys hear that explosion? Now, nine times out of ten, whenever you hear an explosion out in the world, it's not a creeper, not in modded Minecraft, not in Resident Rise. What it usually is, is a skeleton that spawned with a rocket launcher somewhere, and hey what, he's decided to shoot his rocket randomly into a wall. What this means is, usually, he kills himself when he does it, because skeletons are dum-dums, and, uh, and this one's no exception. He's probably wasted himself against a wall, and that's why we can't hear him right now, because he's currently in bits, because he shot himself with a rocket. What a dum-dum. But we've slept now, we've set our spawn here. So let's get working on a watering can so we can set up a little cotton farm to get some string. Now we're gonna need a bucket to make our farm. So first things first, I'll make a bucket so we don't waste all our iron before we get started. We're also gonna need some charcoal in the furnace. So I'll start cooking a couple of logs. And we're also gonna need some wood. So I'm gonna make myself a bowl like that. And do we have any bones? Did we find any bones down in the caves? None in there, fingers- yes we did! There's three, perfect. So let's just get rid of some of these seeds and stuff to start with. Because our inventory is pretty full of crap at the moment. So there is- the gold might come in handy, we'll take the stick, the wood and the iron, and the bone of course for bone meal and the cotton seeds, we'll need those two. The bowls will need two as well to make the watering can. Right, so bones into bone meal. And a watering can is simply just iron around the edge, a bowl in the middle, and BAM! An extra utilities watering can. Now the way this works is you have to fill it with water first before you can sprinkle stuff down. But that's okay for us. Let's go and grab some water, and we'll need to fill up our bucket too, so that we can get started with the farm. Right, BAM! Hey presto, and now we can start sprinkling. Now what the hell is this? A deviating lily. Ooh. Ooh, now that sounds like a swanky, precious kind of flower. I'm gonna remember that's there in future. Now another thing is, because this is kind of like a mini bone meal, when you hold right click on gr on just like grass, dirt with grass on top, that doesn't have anything on it, every now and again, you will create some grass or some flowers. It can take a long time, but if you really do need flowers, it's one way to get them. There you go, and we've just got an alien. Pretty cool. So let's fill up our bucket of water and go and go start creating our farm. Now I know what you're thinking, this isn't Feed the World's Gin, although it's pretty similar, but what we're gonna do is we're still just gonna create a nice little cotton farm around the edge here. Now we haven't got many cotton seeds, so this isn't gonna be huge. But we'll put the water in here. We need some more, of course. There we go. Now that's the business. Also, a pretty neat Minecraft trick if you ever need a permanent water source. And this is pretty basic Minecraft, but there might be some people that don't know. Pump down some dirt. And, uh, bam! Infinite water. Right, so we're just gonna create a cotton farm. And we're gonna put it... Oh, let's just put it right here next to the house. And there we go, some flat water right now. I'll get my hoe out, I think I left it inside. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. I've got the cotton seeds now, the hoe, and let's get busy creating a cotton farm. Oh, yeah, now who doesn't love growing some cotton? I certainly do. So let's just like hold down right click. And you see this hydrates the land as well, but it's also going to help us grow up our cotton super quick. Now look, we started on 0%, it's already at 25%. This here is down at 0%, but it should come up quick. There we go, this plant's 50% already. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to speed up the footage a bit, and you can watch me grow plenty of cotton. Alright, now we've got 20 cotton, that might be enough to make enough string, let's see. And now I'm hoping we can actually make string with cotton, I'm pretty sure we can though. So cotton, if you press U, is used to make string, three in a row, that should be all we need. 
Right, let's do this then. So we've got six string, two charcoal. Oh no, so we're gonna need a couple more charcoal, so we're gonna need a couple more logs. I'll just go and do that. Right, okay, so I think I've got everything. So let's see if I put sticks in the left, if I put torches on the left too, if I put string there in the middle top, and I put four charcoal there, what happens now? Oh wow, look, we're, we're inventing something. Oh, this is pretty cool. So our current goal is invention. The progress is filling up. Come on, come on. Bam! So I think we just learned invention. Next step is engineering. We're gonna need more sticks, more charcoal, and more torches. Right, okay. Oh, right, I think we might even get to the wheel this episode. Right, so I'm gonna go off. I don't need any more string, but I definitely need sticks, torches, and charcoal. So my mission now is to go and get some wood from some, some, from some trees, some nice single trees over there. I don't wanna break these big two or three trunk trees because A, it takes just a long time to get those trees. When they have sprawling branches, you often leave some in the air and that makes the place look really untidy and I really hate that. I really hate untidy looking trees. So we're gonna need a whole bunch more logs. Right, so let's go and check out the, uh, the furnace and put some more wood in here to turn to charcoal. I'm gonna cook all this rubber wood. Now we also need paper, which means I need to put down the sugar canes that we've got over here and create a mini sugar cane farm because I think we're probably gonna need a lot of paper if we wanna get most of this research done. Now let's take a look at the map as well. Now we're down here and oh yeah, already our house looks pretty enigmatic on the horizon. Now Duncan is somewhere up here. So we need to be careful, we need to watch out because I suspect if he finds this place, he might try and shut down my castle kingdom before it becomes a threat to him and the Flux Queen. Right, okay, I reckon that's enough sugar cane. So let's get inside and see if we can get the next step of research complete. So let's see, we need paper, sticks, charcoal again, and torches. Now have we made charcoal here? Yeah, loads of charcoal. So let's put in, oh, we need some sticks as well. So, 21 sticks should be plenty too. So we'll put sticks in there. Some torches, which we've got eight of. We're running out of these. Some charcoal on the top right, paper in the top left. And here we go, is it gonna work? Yes, it's starting to learn engineering. Ah, oh, fantastic. So the next step is the wheel. So if we can learn the wheel this episode, that's gonna be huge means next episode we can start making things like windmills. So we need a dropper and a hopper. Oh wow, they rhyme. Okay, and what else did we need? Some stone and oak wood plank, which are really easy to get. Okay, so what is dropper? A dropper is cobblestone and one redstone. And a hopper, I have a bad feeling that the hopper is a lot of iron. No, it's only five iron and a chest, which means we can make one of those right now. Okay, well, let's do that first. Is there any wood lying around? Ah, oh, there's some in my pack, that's okay. So we need a chest. Five iron in a V. And there we go, we've got a hopper. We're gonna need some redstone for the rest though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down deep into the mine, deep into the chasm, and redstone's super easy to find, so we're just gonna grab some of that. Right, so that's the redstone taken care of. I should be able to make everything I need to unlock the wheel now. Let's take a look. So we need charcoal. Oh, we need loads of charcoal. Luckily, we've got loads of wood, so we can smelt that up. We also need nine sticks, which we've got exactly nine of. Oh, no, no, wait, hang on a second. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Right, so let's just take this out of here. So we need wood, a dropper, and a hopper. Now we've got the hopper, let's make the dropper. So that's one redstone. Where'd I put the cobblestone? There she blows. There we go, there's the dropper. We've got the hopper now, and the dropper. So now let's go and see what else we need. Stone, which is smelted cobblestone, no worries. Let's just put half the stack in there. And now let's load this up. The dropper, the hopper, some wooden planks, and four stones. So let's just wait for these stone to cook up. 
Oh yeah, now this is exactly what I'm talking about. If I can get the wheel, I can get a windmill. Now, we're gonna try and keep as medieval as possible, which means I don't want too many high-tech machines. So what I wanna do, and what I think I will do, is use windmills and watermills as our power. Oh yeah, there we go, we're researching the wheel. That's amazing. And we've done it. Oh yeah, pretty sweet. Right, so we've researched the wheel and we can use that now to make things like a light torque junction, a windmill blade. What we need for a windmill is, which is a big, it's a windmill is like a big giant engine that we can use to generate power. We need a big windmill blade, we need a windmill controller, and we're gonna need some torque shafts and junctions to get the power. Basically these, these torque junctions and shafts work like pipes or wires and they transfer all the power from the windmill to wherever it wants to go. So if you have a farm block that you want to power, you have to you have to drag a line to it with uh, with torque junctions and torque shafts. Right, so we've researched the wheel this episode, but what I'm going to do now is go out, I'm going to find some cobblestone, I'm going to get some wooden logs as well, and some planks, and I'm going to get to work and start walling off an area around our compound. I want a nice big plot of land around the edge just to keep off the enemies and make sure everybody stays out of my castle kingdom. Now eventually everybody's going to be welcome to come and hang out at the castle kingdom but we've got to be careful because there's all kinds of dinosaurs and dangerous wildlife out there that could break its way in. So the best thing we want to do, the first thing, the, the most important thing we can really do now is make a nice big defensive perimeter around the edge of our castle kingdom. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Now the, the sun is setting, it's getting dark out on my kingdom. Next episode, I'm going to be building a nice big wall, I think, around our compound. And I might be looking into making an armory as well. Because we've done a little bit of ancient warfare, but it's starting to slow down a bit. So I need to research into how exactly we can make the windmills now that we've researched the wheel. But power generation is really high on our list of things to do. Thanks for watching, and until next time guys, take care.